Hi, Michelle here from Strawberry Designs, and today I'm going to be doing a DIY splatter paint treatment on my jeans with flowers. And this is actually following a tutorial from the DIY designer, so I will link her video below. So what you're going to need, you're going to need some jeans, of course. You're going to need some fabric paint. I have this one, it's green, and I have this one called grapefruit. It's turning out really pink in my testing, so I think I might add a little bit of red to it. And you need some brushes, some water, and a clean drop cloth. So the first thing you're supposed to do is you're supposed to take your jeans and not have it so that it's just the front, like you would normally you know, think about having your jeans just out like normal. You want to turn it so that you're getting the side of your jean here, okay? Then you're gonna take your paint and you're gonna squirt it into your thing and add a little bit of water to it. This will help it to flow a little bit better. So I'm just taking some spray water and just mixing it in there with my paint, my green paint, and stirring it up with my brush. Okay, so next, you're going to fling the paint onto the jeans. And this, definitely you wanna try this out first. So I tried it out on a cardboard box to see like how the paint worked and how it flowed and what my splatter patterns were like. And I noticed that the higher up you are, the more dots you get. And the closer you are and the more you flick with your wrist really hard, the more stripes that you get. And I really want more stripes, so that's what I'm going for. And here on my left leg of my jean, I'm going to concentrate on the lower part of the leg. Okay, hopefully you can see that. Let me pull that up for a second. See, I got a little stripe pattern there. You want to really load up your paintbrush. All right, so here I go with the, the other leg. And this time, I'm gonna do it more towards the top. And I do want it to be towards the top and a little bit on the side. I really hope this works because if not, I'm ruining one of my favorite pairs of jeans. Okay, I am now going basically full strength paint and I like it better because you, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but as it's just drying, it's soaking into the fabric and just watered down does not seem to be doing as well. This is a soft fabric paint. All right, I think that's good, and I'm gonna let that dry for a little while, go wash my hands, and I'll come back for the flowers. All right, it's not dry yet, but I'm out of patience, and I wanna start doing the flowers. So I've kind of folded over my drop cloth here so that I can put my hand here without getting too messy. I have this paint, and it's called Grapefruit, and in the store, the little sticker had it looking like, you know, like coral, like the in color this year, um, but it's really showing up more like pink. So I'm gonna pour some of that in my pan and 
Wow, I've got some water in my pan. Okay, and I'm gonna add a little bit of this red fabric paint that I have, just to hopefully brighten it up a little bit. So let me take my brush. and just kind of mix those together a little bit. And I may not mix this completely all the way because I really like the way that striations look on it. it adds a little bit of depth and texture, so I think I need to stop. Okay, now, I practiced this on my box and the flowers that I think I like the best are ones that don't actually touch um, the petals, like there's space in between all the petals. And I'm just gonna use my brush and make some petal looks on the sides of these flowers. About five petals. And wow, the green is kind of drying and it's not quite as bright anymore. I always like to do my petals in like odd numbers. Just think that looks better. So there's seven on that one. I'm just gonna keep finding spots where I think a flower would look good. Now we went towards the back of the jeans a little bit just to kind of make it so it's not such a sharp, you know, front only and the lines disappear. So basically all I'm doing is I'm setting the brush down and then kind of pulling and lifting up and then repeating that in the circle pattern, usually five times. Wow, that green is really getting light on the jeans. It's gonna be a really faded look, I guess. I'm sure if you had a lighter wash jeans, that the colors would probably pop a little bit more. Sometimes make the petals a little longer, sometimes make them a little fatter. You just kind of play with it, don't be too afraid. Because it's supposed to have kind of a, a messy, splattered look to it. You could do this with super bright colors and make it, you know, like for a little girl or something. I think using just the one color, and this is something the DIY designer said as well. She said it first, so I'm just copying her. The one color of flowers makes it look just a little bit more sophisticated, I think. All right, I'm thinking about going in now with just some white paint, maybe doing a, some dots in the center, but I wanna be sure that that's really what I want. What about just doing some white dots? That's actually kinda of cool. Now I could do some white petals, which actually looks really um, pretty, I think. If I had just done white and green, I think that would've been pretty too. Oh, I don't know. I'm kinda liking the way it looks, but uh, let's go for it. Let's just do like maybe a center to some of these flowers. Okay, once I started, I feel like they all have to have the white now. I think they looked fine before, and I think this looks good too. But I definitely think they all need the white centers now. All right, I'm gonna let this dry for a little while, and I'll show you how they ended up turning out. The jeans are dry and I put them on. They turned out a lot more subtle than I was hoping and expecting, but they are very pretty still. Um, it's just kind of more subtle effect than I was kind of going for. So I would definitely, if you wanted a bright effect, I would use a much lighter wash of denim when you do this. Um, but if you like that subtle effect, just a little bit of, hey, wait, wait, what is that she's got on her jeans? This might be the perfect amount to do it. And thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Tell all your friends and have a great day crafting away. Mm -hmm.